off a 3-1 victory safely into the second round and in truth could have been a, a bigger margin than the 3-1 it was. Yeah, I think we all know if it's a boxing match, I think the Porsche supporters who travelled down to Bromley will have seen us trying to adapt to ourselves. We've played really well in spells today, some fantastic passing and moving. And we go behind totally against the run of play. We're totally dominant, but a goalkeeper makes a big error. And if you make a big error in the goals, you, you get punished, don't you? But that's not like him, to be fair. So he doesn't normally do that. We, we got a little break. The guy gets sent off. I think the lucky thing is with George Cooper's not got a broken jaw. Um, but we, we get the goal within a minute or two as well. That helps us. I think I said to him at half time, just let's go out and play. Let's make the pitch big and expansive. Let's have our overlapping fullbacks going and joining our wide players. It could have been any score in the second half. It, it, if the third goal had come before then, I think it might have been seven or eight today, but taking nothing away from Bromley. They've walked hard, they've gone in front. They'll believe that they've got 11 men on the pitch when they go in front. In reality, they've won the Christmas raffle early when they go in front. But um, nothing changes in football. If you if you lift your hands in football and you smash people in the face, you get red carded. Yeah. Last week, you got critical of Matt Gordon. Comes back with two goals today. That's wonderful management, isn't it? Well, listen, I've purposely dug Matt out. I think at certain times you, you dig certain players out that you might find are just feeling a little bit comfortable. And I did that to Matty. But listen, he's a fantastic professional. I've worked hard with Matty and all the strikers this week in training um, on this type of surface. And Matty was electric in the last couple of days. And I said to him today, I fancy for a hat-trick, son, giving you finishing. He's unlucky to get a hat-trick, but he's, his first finish is brilliant. His second goal is, is for me, sublime. It's on the back of 10, 12 passes, brilliant cross. We, I think it's Jason Naismith and absolutely Chris finishing. And, and it's just a shame then we don't go and win five or six to do our supporters justice. Yeah, Joe Ward's added goals to his game now as well. Obviously, he's in prolific form in front of goal. Very good performance from him again today. You know, we were disappointed with Ward in the first half. He went into the box on his own and he's tried to find the strikers and cut a couple back. He's such a, listen, I've said before about Joe Ward, he is, take him home and meet the daughters, he is a son-in-law material, he's a great kid. And we said to him at half-time, be a bit more different, a bit more finish. And when he went through a one-on-one, I didn't have any hesitation, he, he put it where he put it. Yeah, Jason Cummings did everything but score today, didn't he? I thought he was good today, Jason, I think he worked ever so hard. They two complement each other really well. Um, I think all our three strikers battled to get in. We could have gone with any permutation of three today. I think the, the Bromley boys, when they seen the team sheet, expected Gordon to be on the bench. Master at work. <laughs> and in terms of Tuesday night, obviously it's Checker Trade Trophy now. What we look to do for that? Oh, we'll make changes. We'll make changes. It's it's a competition we'd like to progress in. Let's not hide that fact, but we'll we'll make changes and, and we'll we'll look at minutes for game time for different individuals and, and there's some youngsters, you know, you see the youth cup result, there's one or two youngsters as well. We we want to look at bringing up into a setup and, and seeing whether they can acclimatise because as we know youth football's easy, twenty threes football's easy. And, um, but when you get into the real huff and puff, you look at the Bromley lads, how much they had to give today. So we'll make changes, but we're going to try and progress in two cups in four days.